Hi guys! Oh, wow, was that a really weird hi? Yeah. No, not that weird. Hi guys! <laughs> hi guys! Wait. Hey guys! You, you do it! <laughs> you do it! <laughs> you do it then! Hey guys, welcome back to this video. Welcome back to that. See, that's weird too. It's all weird. Hi hey guys! guys. <laughs> okay, hi guys. So as you can see by the title of this video, today Joe and I are going to be delving into our personality types mm -hmm. and talking about what makes us compatible, which I'm really excited for because the personality type test is something that I have been so into since I, I think I can actually find my first results from when I was like 14. And if you haven't taken the like Myers-Briggs personality test, I really recommend it. Cause when I was like first told to take it in school, I was going through like my early stages of identity crisis. Like I've always kind of been like, kind of like a chameleon of a human being where I was just kind of like different around everyone. So I was always like, uh, who am I? <laughs> who is, who is me? And then once I took the test and I found out that I am an ENFJ, it was really oddly relieving. So it's something that like can teach you so much about yourself. It can teach you so much about like your relationships with other people like Joe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you are? I'm an INFP, right? Yeah, you're I'm, an INFP. I'm an INFP and I'm someone- I make everybody take this test. Like, you make everyone you've dated take this test? Is it, <laughs> are you serious? And, but I'm it's like a protocol to dating you? I like and knowing. I felt... This is my version of like, hey, what's your sign? This is, this is that for me. And the reason I'm so excited for today's video is that it's actually sponsored by Birdie. Birdie! Thanks, thanks Joe. Birdie is a dating app that connects people based off of your personality types. Like if I was dating right now, like had I not found you, this is what I would be using. So is this an app where two people who don't know each other have profiles and you can go on and look for like an INFJ and you can link up? Well, you actually, you can take the test online. I'll link it down below or you can take it on their mobile app. And basically what it does is it connects you to people that you are the most personality type based compatible with. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about it, what, what I think is nice about it is that you don't see people's pictures first. That's nice. With some people, it's like you're speaking totally different languages and no matter what you say, if it makes total sense to you, they just will not get it. Like, mm -hmm. and I kind of have gone about life feeling like very like not got a lot of the time. You know that about me? Like I, I, I rarely like encounter people that like I feel get it and when they do it's always a, 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 simil a similar personality type mm -hmm. i have my favorites ours are, are compatible right we're gonna find out okay, so right now we're on the birdie website and we are going to take the you. test we're gonna show you a little of the test discover your personality when you make a decision a you tend to choose the one that is reasonable based on judgment okay good judgment yeah you tend to make bad choices based on emotions or values what would you say about me what do i do Emotions or values. Yeah, right? You know it's right. I do what is reasonable based on good judgment because yeah, I definitely will just be, I, I understand why something is good or bad, but I will look at it and be like, this is what needs to be done. And then I'll, I'll make that choice, right? What's that like? As a teenager, you considered yourself studious and structured, loose and casual. I think I was definitely loose and casual, <laughs> but I, I would, I loved to believe that I was studious and structured, but I was certainly loose and casual. I procrastinated like- I was student. studious and structured. Yeah. I was very goody two shoes. Anytime I got a project, I would do it that day. So I didn't have to think about it again. Yeah, I was like that. I was definitely someone who felt like I needed to get everything done immediately. But while getting everything done immediately and being studious, I watched all of Friday Night Lights in like three weeks. And that's like what, like eight seasons? It was a lot of seasons, but- <laughs> We're gonna hurt. Loose and casual. Yeah. Before you make a decision, you tend to rely on experience. You ask for advice, conduct research and gather facts. You tend to rely on your instincts. Instincts. Relative. Yeah, I'm instincts. Yeah. Outside of school or work, your relatives and your friends could say that A, you're organized or B, you're disorganized. I think I'm organized. What do you mean, like having clothes around the room and stuff? I'm so organized with that, are you kidding me? We, I would film the couch in our room right now and most of what's on that couch is shit that you wore last night. You look so sad right now, but it's so true and I don't give a shit. I think I'm organized. I think you're organized, but I wouldn't say that you're more organized than me. Outside. That's not the question. You live in the present for the now. You have to focus and remind yourself to be in the present. Yeah, it's definitely B. Yeah, definitely B. God, that's that's like something a... that we like try and work on together. We're yeah. like, can we just like be here? Which is why I journal every day because that's a it's a constant effort and reminder to be like, this yeah. is where you are, and this is what you have, and this is why you should be happy. 
and this is why you should feel comfortable pursuing your dreams. I spend like a ridiculous amount of time in fantasy land and it's not like always fun. It's always like what is the most unrealistic bad thing that could happen. Yeah. Let's sit on that for a second. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's see let's see how like vivid we can make that image. After spending a lot of time with people, you feel refreshed. You need some alone time to recharge. I'm gonna go with alone time. For sure. What would you say about me? You're so split down I'm the middle. I'm so that split down the middle. It's not like a clear like oh like sometimes you'll hang out with someone who you love and you can never when get I'm around, up, right? When I'm around people, I like I, I get a kick out of it in the moment. Yeah. Sometimes, but like you've seen me, like do you want to go? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Want to stay home and read Midnight Sun? Yeah. I have certain times where I'm around someone who I'm like, man, like this is this this person is awesome. I can chill with them as much as I need to. Well, that's a personality type thing. Hey. I promise you, if you looked into the kind of person that you enjoy hanging out with, that like refreshes you and like doesn't like steal from your energy, it's because you're not having to adapt anything about you in order to suit them while hanging out with them. Uh. What idea would you prefer to focus on? One that's proven to work and is backed by? Would you say data or data? I'm a data guy. I'm a doctor girl. I know, good cut you off from London. <laughs> Read this question how I would say it. <laughs> what idea would you prefer to focus on? A, one that's proven to work and is backed by data. Or <laughs> B, one that is innovative and has never been done before. Cast me in a UK movie. Whatever. I mean, it's one that's proven to work and is backed by data. That makes me feel more comfortable, but I always do in, like something that's never been done before. Or not even that, more so like I'm on my own path that isn't necessarily structured. So B. I'm definitely B. Yeah. I think I have like a an image of how I want things to turn out. Yeah. And I can almost like see what has to happen for me to get there. I don't need the like I don't need for it to have been done before for me to believe in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you work better in serious environments. In fun environments. I feel like if I was fun environment. You know why mine's fun environment? Because in a serious environment, I wouldn't be able to get anything done because I'd be worrying that everyone hates me. When someone random gives you a criticism, how dare they? I wonder if that's like my answer already. You get, you get over it quickly because you don't care or because there are no tangible facts to their statement. You think about it days after, asking yourself why this person said that. Which one am I? B. <laughs> it's not fun. I'm B. I'm B, but like I can lean towards A at times, depending on what it is. Okay, so now we're moving on to how compatible we are. We're so lucky because we actually had the CEO and the founder of Birdie, Juliet Swan, send us like thank a, you, yeah, thank you. We had, she sent us like a breakdown of basically how compatible we are. Ian, tell me if you think this is true. So it, this is about how this you're is me. Okay, right. ENFJ, how you flirt, natural flirts, but give you the priority of their attention. Know the social game and use it to put you at ease. Allow you to reveal yourself more than you ever did while being more and more physical towards you to amplify the connection. Want you to feel cared for as proof of their love for you. Oh, yeah. I think I definitely do that. I yeah. flirt with you every morning when I butter your toes. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I hope you like care. What it's like dating you. Very interested in you and who you really are. Know your emotional needs so they can take care of you like no one has ever done before. Yeah, that's true. Would you say that's true? Yeah, that's true. Definitely. Oh, <laughs> oh you are busting. What's that busting when I'm tearing up? <laughs> I'm busting. Don't say that. So supportive, they might forget to support themselves. Mm -hmm. If you support them back, you'll have a healthy and lasting relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, how I flirt, INFP. I'm nervous when you're around. Oh! Yeah, I mean, I'm nervous when nervous when you're around. Might get the courage. To this is like in the beginning. You think this is how it was? Definitely. Might get the courage to talk to you, hoping you'll accept their quirks. Certainly. Ask you strange questions. Blush in the cutest way. Once comfortable, become very playful and lively to the point where you don't even recognize them. Yeah, that but was like that was like so that for you. The difference was so nice. Crap. Day. crap! That's crazy. That's really accurate. Yeah. Demonstrate not only their acceptance, but also a genuine interest in their core val in your core values. Yeah, they will demonstrate unwavering loyalty, care, and open-mindedness to you with unprecedented sensitivity and warmth. Their goal is to make their dreams of a perfect relationship come true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why do we still own a clock like this? These shits went out of style in the 1980s. And this is about our compatibility. Okay. You ready? Yeah. People with Neve's type are uniquely capable of creating a space safe enough for Joe to trust her and open up. 
<laughs> yep, you do that. Neve has so much interest and consideration for Joe's entire person that she will wait patiently for Joe to open up, continuously asking questions with genuine and enthusiastic interest. And she will embrace every bit that he gives her, which will reassure Joe to continue opening up. Mm -hmm. In the end, Joe will feel that she is the only person able to understand him and the only one with whom he can feel safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through their conversations, Neve can identify Joe's values very precisely and protect them at all costs from the world so that no one can ever hurt his feelings and make him feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Joe is uniquely capable of seeing through what Neve shows externally. Joe will listen to her deeply like she has never been listened to. Mm -hmm. Neve gives a lot externally and might not be used to getting that kind of calm attention in return. Joe doesn't need to ask that many questions because he feels things and processes them internally. The insights that he comes up with through his internal analysis are so powerful and true that Neve feels fully understood, better than she could have ever explained in her own words. Neve can sometimes feel disconnected from herself because she gives a lot of herself externally and to people she can sometimes feel she is losing herself. But Joe focuses on Neve's core and will reassure her and remind her of who she is inside, like a guardian angel. That's true. That's really cute. Yeah, if you ever are in a moment where you're like doubting yourself a little bit, I do come back and I'm like, remember, this is what you're worth. So yeah, much. you're very cute about that. <laughs> Neve will finally feel complete with Joe. I am a softy, huh? <laughs> Neve and Joe will find themselves in a relationship based on very deep emotional connection and almost perfect understanding of the other, giving way to a relationship of trust and total sincerity. So are we technically considered compatible? We are very naturally compatible. We would have matched on Birdie. Sick. We would have matched on Bodhi. That's their whole thing. They match people based off of who they would naturally just be compatible with. Just mm -hmm. because of who you are, just because of who they are. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Should I not? Then do whatever you want. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned a little bit more about us, a little bit more about how the personality types work. And I really hope that you download Bodhi because like I said, this is 100% what I would be using to find a romantic relationship. If, if I did not have you, who I'm very compatible with. Yeah, it looks like you ain't gonna be using it. I've never used the dating app. Maybe like one time, but I never acted on it. This would have been a cool, thank you. This would have been a cool way for me to- Well, you would have matched with me. Yes. You would have. I probably, yeah, I would have. I definitely would have. No, you would have. We're compatible. Okay, before we just start, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Say goodbye.